What's up everybody, Blue Gabe. I'm in Okeechobee, Florida. I called Brad Gibson at G3 Outfitters. Didn't have much going on. He said he was crappie fishing. I said, get your butt in here and pick me up. So soon he's gonna be coming right there to pick me and Redneck up. But this video is all about the giveaway. No respect. I'm trying to do an intro and here's, hey, he's just going fishing. I can't blame him. So this video is all about the giveaway that I did that all you had to do is go to bluegabe.com and buy a t-shirt. Any one of my Blue Gabe t-shirts you automatically got entered to the giveaway, and today we're gonna pick somebody. Hopefully it's you. Somewhere in this video, I'm not gonna announce where, I'm gonna pop it up on the screen, and it's gonna hopefully say your name on it. If not, you're gonna have to sit back and watch, because whoever wins it, I'm going to knock their socks off with a fishing trip of a lifetime. We're either gonna fish here on Lake Okeechobee, or we're gonna fish on the Atlantic Ocean in Stewart, Florida, and maybe even go catch a 500 pound Goliath grouper. We don't know. Hopefully when you watch the giveaway video, cause I'm gonna make a video of whoever comes, you don't regret it. And you get the hint the next time I give, do a giveaway, you better get on board because when I do it, I'm gonna do it all the way or no way. We'll see y'all in a minute when Brad gets here. So y'all tell me I don't have the coolest dog in the whole wide world. Everybody asks me where I got the name Redneck from. I'll tell you. Redneck and Luke are the same age. Luke's my four-year-old. Redneck's four. But when Jake was four and these two were born, we got Redneck when he was four weeks old. Jake came up with that name. I don't know where or why, but he named him. So it's his fault. Y'all don't hate on me. Take it up with Jake. Jake named Redneck. And he's been such an awesome addition to our family. I wouldn't trade him for nothing. He's cool. He's cool. Aren't you cool? Are you cool? He's cool. Look at, look at him driving like a maniac. You're driving it like you stole it. Let them pick you up. I'm ready. Ready to go get on the boat. Let's go. So I just get on his boat and he's already telling me a fish's story about the one that got away. Go ahead and tell us, Brad. Biggest bass of my life by far the biggest bass ever ever with live bait artificial doesn't matter look this is what it ate and what it did to my hook come on the real the biggest bass biggest had her upside down in the reeds hung up as soon as i went to lip her she straightened the hook out and took off huge what's up with that he don't even have a picture to prove it but we only have two hours of fish. I gotta go get the kids from school. So we're about to hightail it up out of here. We'll see y'all in a minute. All right, I know y'all are like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, what just happened? Why aren't you on the boat fishing? Well, guess what? This ain't a fishing video. This is a giveaway video. We're announcing the giveaway, like I said earlier. But right now we're out here at Deer Meats Ranch. He's doing a squirrel video. He said, Gabe, bring some of that crappie out here and cook. So I'm gonna clean him real quick. As soon as he gets here, we're gonna fry him up and hopefully fry some squirrel on his channel. Y'all just be patient because the giveaway will be announced very soon, but I ain't telling you when. So let's get to cleaning some fish. First thing first, you see that Danko knife? That joker is sharp. Yep, we're flaying this crappie, but nope, we're not wasting the rest of it. We're gonna cook it. A little bit different for y'all this video. Something that I've always liked to do. We're gonna fry the backbone and the flays separately. So it doesn't matter if you leave just a little bit of meat on the bones because it'll still be there to eat. Just like that. I'm gonna fry that. And I'm gonna fry these fillets. So while I'm sitting here cleaning the rest of these crappie, we'll take a time to talk about the crappie videos. If y'all like crappie fishing, I already have a crappie video up. Plus, if you go to my brother's channel, Deer Meat for Dinner, he's got several of them that are, I'm there with him. But we're gonna do a bunch of spec fishing, AKA crappie fishing videos this year. And I didn't wanna do one today because I didn't have a cameraman and I couldn't show you all the best angles. 
but don't get impatient because they're coming. We're gonna do different style of crappie fishing, different lakes, different states. We're gonna show y'all more crappies than y'all can handle. But tonight, all I'm showing you is how we cook them when we're at hunting camp. All right, y'all, I just made short work of those crappie. But let me show you what I did. It's a little bit different than y'all are used to seeing from me. A lot of y'all like me to cook the whole fish. This is the next best thing. So instead of using the heads, I didn't. But guess what? I saved the fins and the backbone and the flays because this is my favorite part of any fish, the fins fried. It don't get no better. Now we're gonna go over here and build a big old campfire. I just heard Robert shoot, but I think he shot a hog. I don't think he shot a squirrel because he shot something big. We'll see when he gets here. Now that, how you build a fire. Here in South Florida, at least, we use palm fronds and palm fronds burn almost as good as Christmas trees. Give me an A plus on that at least, at least an A minus. All right, y'all, we think Robert might have got ate by a squirrel. I know I can't shine the light at you because it's super bright, so we're gonna go ahead and start cooking this fish. I know I'm gonna blow y'all's mind. I'm using some Everglades. Got my can cooker, little seasoning thingamajigger. You just put it in there, it makes it super easy. All right, so I got all my fish seasoned. Throw it in there like so. Now, y'all can see we're out here in the woods. So I mixed a little bit of the Everglades heat in here. Got my fish fillets, looking all nice and dandy. Now this little thing here, it's good for the dishwasher, but it's awesome to deal with fish. Just that quick, done. No mess, no nothing. Look how easy that is, perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. Got all the backbones and the fillets in there. I'm using half cornmeal, half flour. Look at that. That's how long that took. I'm done. Let's take it to the grease. Ooh, y'all know it. Dad, soon it'll be done, right? Yes. Yeah, especially in that condition. Are you excited to eat some fish? Yeah. Yes, sir? Yes, sir. All right, let's flip it. I can smell it too, right? You can smell it? Yeah. Me too, it smells so good. It's almost not good. Do you like cooking out here in the woods? Yeah. Making campfires all on your own? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Got my little pan. Got the backbones. Hot pan. They're done. Two minutes on each side, you're ready to rock. Yeah. I wouldn't touch it yet, Lukey. It's hot. Now let's put the backbones in there. The backbone tastes good. That's a lot. That fire is going to get big. He just put another palm frond. Fish is almost done. They're not wings, they're fins, and they taste like potato chips, and they're my favorite. They're grandma's favorite, too. These fish took their final swim, boys. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Y'all, that's a plate of food. 
to be reckoned with. Woo. All right, we got all the fish cooked. Robert's still not back. He might've got ate by a snake or an alligator like Luke, he said. We're gonna dig in. We're gonna eat without him. Come here, Luke, and try a piece. Okay. Try it and tell me what you think. Get some, Jake. Is it good? Uncle Robert's back. It tastes like a potato. It's like a potato. Woo! Uncle Ro yep, Uncle Robert's back. About time. He didn't get ate by an alligator. Come All here right. and try the try the tail, Jake. Yeah. You gotta pick it up like this and take a big old bite of it. Mmm. Mmm. What you like better, the flay or the tail? The flay, but I feel like the tail has like most of the seasoning on it. It does. Loki, how's your fish? Ow, it's hot. Oh, it's hot? Y'all, when you get these tails like it, just like a potato chip. These fins, really good too. The fillets are really good. But we're not done with this yet. I'm gonna show you another trick. So you pull these fins yeah, off just like this. Loki, shh. Once you get them off like that and these top bones, then you just take neat. Best part. And the bones. Same thing with the bottom ones. Now you gotta be careful. I don't recommend kids doing this because they could get a bone, but mm mm mm. That's the real deal, y'all. These tater chips. Mmm. 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 Well, Look out you got ate by an alligator. Deer meat for dinner struck out. What did you shoot at? I heard you shoot three times. Yeah, the biggest boar hog you've ever, he could have been a bar, but an absolute dinosaur. Tell everybody what it's like to film and to hunt and everything by yourself. It ain't easy. That hog's very lucky I was filming by myself. He was walking right with a big sow. And instead, of, if he would have just kept coming, I'd have had him like here to that door, like the wall. But of course, the the, uh, the wind swirled a little bit, and he stopped out there about 20 yards. I was like, pow! And he took off running, pow, pow! Shot two more times. Try Never cut fish. a hair. What? Never cut a hair. Never hit him. On the way here, we found Kia in a coral snake. Yeah, Kia was running down the road, but she wouldn't let me catch her. And then we found a coral snake. Try that fish real quick. Well, where'd she go? She went in the bushes. She wouldn't let me catch her. How close did you get to her? She stopped like she was gonna let me pick her up, but soon Didn't you get like close to her? No, like 20 feet, and then she went to the Palmettas and wouldn't come back out. Mm. But I wasn't 100% sure it was Kia, so I wasn't diving <laughs> off into the Palmettas with her. That's Luke, really were good. you hungry? I'm really, really good. I mean, fresh crappie's awesome. <laughs> Luke's starving, I guess. He's going to town. Mmm. Can't win them all. You definitely can't win them all, especially when filming. Filming and hunting by yourself. <laughs> White tails, it's one thing when you're sitting in a tree saying you got a camera over your shoulder, but anything else can be difficult. Yeah. We're gonna finish eating, we'll see y'all in a second. <laughs> all right, y'all, it is late. Actually, it's early morning. I filmed all day, we crappie fish, went out to the ranch, cooked dinner for deer meat. Y'all gave him a hard time too, because he missed a boar hog three times. I'm leaving in about three hours to go to Maryland, to Chesapeake Bay Beach, a restaurant they call The Pier is gonna be near where we're at, so if we get done filming early, I might meet all y'all there Friday, whoever wants to meet up for a meet and greet, just have dinner, some drinks, some appetizers, whatever it is, but I won't be here for the giveaway. Rico and I just edited this whole entire video, and when I get to where I'm going, wherever I am, Derek Sims is gonna call me on the 6th, sometime during that day and tell me who the winner is and it's going to be right after this so as soon as i'm done talking it's going to go straight to the winner now let me tell you about the trip that the winner is going to win i was going to do a one day fishing trip two nights stay so i just doubled down she he whoever wins is going to get a two day fishing trip for two 
We're going to fish on Lake Okeechobee with Brad Gibson at G3 Outfitters. And then weather permitting, we're going to go giant Goliath grouper fishing and make a whole entire Blue Gabe episode. So you guys, the next giveaway, I'm telling you, when you watch the video, because I'm going to do a video with the winner. When you watch it, y'all better get into that next giveaway because I'm telling you right now, it's going to be epic. But as for me, I got to get on a plane and go to Maryland and do a snakehead video. I'm going to do a rock bass video, a sea duck video. As many videos as I can, I'm going to get right back here, get back to work. Rico's going to help me and we're going to pound them out. So, so like Jake always says, we're getting the heck up out of here and we're getting out of shape. We'll see y'all.